So you wanna make more sales on Etsy. In today's video, I'm gonna give you four essential tips that is going to help you grow your Etsy shop and help you generate more sales. Now, last week, I put out a video on how I made $1,700 in revenue my first month on Etsy, and my second month, I did $2,000 in revenue. I'm going to leave that down below um, so you can see exactly how I did that with paid advertising. In addition to that, people were commenting on that video asking me to review their stores and I noticed a common theme of things that people weren't doing that were not getting sales um, that I am doing so in this video I'm gonna break down those four things that you must focus on in order to start generating sales with Etsy as soon as today Hey guys, Angie here from Wi-Fi Wealth, and on this channel, I make videos about super simple and fun ways to make money from home. So be sure to smash that subscribe button right now so you never miss a video that I release on how to make money. First, let's talk about what you don't need to be successful on Etsy and some of these things you might be shocked by uh, because Etsy is considered a creative platform for creative people, okay? Um, however, I am a very business-minded person and um, in order to grow a business, you really have to adopt a business mindset, okay? Okay, um, selling online, there really is no guesswork to this. It is a science. And if you take what I'm saying today to heart and put this to work in your store, you can have a very successful and booming Etsy shop starting this year, right? Maybe even this month or this week. So number one, you do not need to reinvent the wheel. All of the answers are out there on how to make your shop super successful, okay? You also do not need to be super creative. I know, wow, shocking. <laughs> As I said, Etsy is a creative platform, so it attracts a lot of hobbyists, a lot of people that are just passionate about crafting. And um, I'm here to tell you, in order to grow a very successful Etsy shop, you do not need to be creative, okay? That kind of goes along with the first one. You don't need to reinvent the wheel. All of the answers are there. This is a science on how to be successful. You also don't need lots of inventory. A lot of Etsy sellers will spend so much time crafting and making things and um, putting things together and creating that they lose sight of what it actually takes to grow a business. And that's not being crafty and super hands-on with what you're making, but that is looking at um, statistics, looking at your competition and those kind of things, which brings me to how to make $2,000 a month on Etsy. And I, I can say this because I have done this. Um, so these are some things that I actually did to make $1,700 in revenue my first month of taking Etsy seriously and then $2,000 the following month, okay? So before I opened my shop, I researched my competitors. I went out there and I decided, you know, what I wanted to sell and then I started looking at what other stores were doing in that particular niche, okay? I'm gonna share with you the things that I actually looked at um, so that you can do the same. You also need to be more business-minded. As I said, um, being creative does have its benefits, but the number one deciding thing on whether or not your store is going to be super successful is how well that you treat this as a business, okay? You also need to be a student of Etsy. There are so many different platforms out here on the internet that you can sell on, and they each have their own different algorithm and different way of operating that can help you make more sales. So to get more sales on Etsy particularly, you need to absorb yourself in watching as many videos as you can and learning as much as you can about this topic, okay? Now I'm gonna dive into the four elements on what to focus on when you're growing your Etsy shop and exactly how to do that. All right, so let's go ahead and dive in here. I'm over on Etsy, and at the top, I have typed in best seller. So the first thing that we're gonna do is look at a lot of the best selling items on Etsy, and then once you decide what you wanna do, uh, we're gonna break down the element of these best sellers. Okay, so I've typed in best sellers. 
You can see here, you can click on best selling items, most sold items, best sellers of 2019, best selling items in handmade, best sellers jewelry, best sellers Christmas. You can do best sellers baby, uh, best sellers art. So those are some things that you can look at, or you can just scroll down here. The first thing I see is a father of the bride gift. Next thing I see is leather bracelets. Um, I see lavender oatmeal soap. I see some name necklaces. So let's go ahead and click on this lavender soap here. And we'll let this pull up and then we will take a look here. Okay, so the first thing that you notice is their photo, right? So this is something you really wanna take note of is photos. I had people um, commenting on my last video asking for store critiques and I noticed straight away that their photos were not good, okay? Nowadays, a lot of people have an iPhone and they can quickly take really good images themselves. If you have a lower quality smartphone that doesn't take that good of pictures, maybe consider upgrading, uh, maybe look for some stock images that have a better quality photos than what you can take yourself or hire someone to take photos for you, but photos are absolutely important if your photos are not up to par people are just gonna skip right past you okay so first and foremost um, you want to look at the best sellers see what is selling and you want to put out items in your store that are already proven to sell okay um, like I said I know a lot of people that do Etsy are super creative and they just are passionate about their their hobby or their craft um, you're running a business now, so you have to look at what does the market actually want, what is demand, what is already proven to sell, okay? So once you have an idea of what is selling and what you can sell, then take note of the photos, as I mentioned, and you wanna make sure that you get the most top quality photos possible. And you want to fill out the photos. This listing right here has three, but if you can, I would put six. Um, even if you have to repeat photos, I would absolutely put at least six photos in here. And keep in mind, once you have your photo on your desktop, before you upload it, you wanna click on the name of the file, usually it's a bunch of numbers, click on that so that it highlights it in blue, type in your keyword, okay, before you upload it. That's gonna name your photo, and that's gonna help with people finding you on Etsy. Okay, the next thing you want to look at is the uh, title, which should also include tags, okay? Tags is what people are gonna be searching for um, on Etsy, these are keywords, okay? So this says lavender oatmeal soap, that is one keyword or tag that they are using. Um, number two, bestseller, okay? So they put bestseller in their title. That is also a tag or a keyword, as you could see. I even typed in bestseller here to search, um, and this came up because I typed in bestseller. Um, next, gift for mom. Whoa! Okay, this is a huge keyword. A lot of people searching on Etsy are searching for gifts, not necessarily items for themselves. They are looking for gifts. So someone will come over here in the search bar and type in gift for mom, okay? So if it's something that someone would buy for their mother, potentially add that in your title. That's a tag. That's a search term. That's a keyword. People will find your listing based on typing that in the search bar, okay? Next, luxury soap. That is also a keyword. So these are four really good keywords that people are searching for. This listing is getting found and has become a bestseller because they are utilizing their title and their tags and their keywords to the fullest of their ability, okay? And last but not least here, let's take a look at their description. Okay, so in their description, they list their materials. Um, they also put luxurious lavender oatmeal soap. So they're reusing a keyword here. It says a lovely bar made with fresh ground oats and lavender essential oil, our number one best-selling bar. Folks love this one and we do too. Okay, so they're... Um, making you feel good in there. Um, they're using some good descriptive words and um, they're saying, 
uh, a lot of people love this, okay? So they're creating desire there. Um, and then they fill out their description really, really well. Um, luxurious, natural, generous size, um, paraben free. Um, so they list a lot of things, vegan friendly. These are some things that people would be looking for. And it says, please note, our soaps are handcrafted, so um, each batch can turn out a little differently. Um, so you just want to really fill this out to uh, give people as much information as possible and make them confident in purchasing from you. Okay, so those are the absolute four things that you must focus on. So we're going to do a quick little recap here, and then I'm going to share a bonus tip with you that can absolutely blow your shop up if you have these four things already set and concrete on your shop. This last thing is going to nail the coffin shut and make sure that you absolutely crush it. So let's recap some things that we discussed in today's video, and then I'm going to give you that really awesome bonus. Make sure you stick around for that because it is essential, okay? So you don't need to reinvent the wheel. All of the answers are already there. You do not need to be super creative. See what your competitors are doing and model them, right? You don't need to copy them, but you can model them and put your own personality and style on it, okay? You do not need lots of inventory. However, I do recommend that you start doing, um, you get to 100 listings as fast as you can, then make your next goal 500 listings, and then your next goal 1,000 listings. Once you get to 1,000 listings, your mind will probably be blown on how crazy this can go. Um, what I do recommend with this is that not stocking a whole lot of inventory, but um, if you have something, um, for example, like the soap, you could um, potentially order some of these um, in bulk that doesn't cost a lot of money and package these together in your own packaging and ship them off yourself. Um, or you can do some print on demand. I did another full tutorial on how to do t-shirts on Etsy with print on demand. I will link that down below in the description as well. Um, but you do need to think about how to expand your store without holding on to a lot of inventory. You don't want a lot of money out of pocket to start until you are actually selling things. Okay? Okay, so um, with Etsy, you can't really drop ship, but you can create things such as designs for t-shirts that you pre-make, and then once the customer orders it from you, then you can print the t-shirt on like Teespring and then drop ship that straight to the customer, okay? You do still add some value and creativity to that design, to that order, um, but uh, it's not something that you have to have on hand in stock, okay? You also, I didn't mention this earlier, I forgot this one, you don't need a lot of followers. So I've had people on my other Etsy video telling me they spent so much time focusing on Instagram and Facebook and like doing all this social stuff, but they still didn't get sales. Guess what? I didn't do any of that. I didn't do Instagram, I didn't do Facebook, I didn't spend any time focusing on social media. Why? Because Etsy has built in buyers into their platform. There are uh, thousands or maybe even millions of people on Etsy that are ready to buy, that are searching and ready to spend money, okay? They are ready to spend money with you. You just have to make sure that your listings are set up in order for them to find you. So focus on the four things that I mentioned in this video rather than trying to go out there and bust your butt on growing a social media following, okay? So to make $2,000 a month in revenue on Etsy, you need top-notch photos. Okay, look at what other people are doing. Compare your photos to theirs, and if yours are not up to par, spend some time to fix those and work on that. Also, you want to research those best sellers, see what is already demand in demand in the marketplace, and see how you can jump into that space. You also want to find high searched tags and you find those tags as I showed you by looking at best selling items and seeing what they're using in their titles, okay? And then you would take your same title, um, each keyword would be separated by a comma and in your actual Etsy listing as you go to fill that out, you would put those in your tags as well, okay? Then you want to make sure you have a complete description that thoroughly um, explains what the item is, give the features, the benefits, uh, you know, make people feel comfortable with buying from you. And then last, 
but not least, we're going to get to this nice little bonus tip here, and that is paid advertising. Etsy actually does have paid ads on their platform, and once I got those four things in order with my listings, then I went and turned on paid ads, and paid ads on Etsy is going to work off of those keywords that you put in your title and your tags. Um, so when people are searching for those things, if you're paying for people to um, see your listing and click through, then you're going to get lots of visitors to your site and potentially buyers as well, okay? So you can pay anywhere from 10 to 25 cents for a click to your listing. And if you are using the correct tags, then people will find your listing and buy. I'm telling you, I know because I spent $250 on paid Etsy ads my first month that I took Etsy seriously, and it resulted in $1,700 in revenue, okay? None of that came from social media. None of that came from any followers or friends or family or anything. I didn't tell anybody I opened my Etsy shop. I just did exactly what I'm sharing with you in this video and the other one that I made. Uh, one of the questions that I got on that video was how much do I spend on paid ads? Now, when you first start, Etsy does sometimes cap you at uh, $100 or something like that. I put mine on the maximum that Etsy would allow me to spend per day, um, but start where you can. Like If you can only start with a $5 a day budget or a $1 a day budget, just start there, okay? Start there and you can work your way up. Um, of course, if you can do the maximum, then you're gonna be able to shoot straight out of the gate like I did, but if you can't, you know, don't allow that to hold you back. Just start absolutely where you can. I cannot stress that enough, okay? Um, just keep putting in the time and the effort uh, with what I'm sharing with you here, and you too can have a very successful and booming Etsy shop uh, by the end of this month or by the end of this year, depending on your budget and the time that you put in. I hope you enjoyed these tips on how to absolutely crush Etsy. If you put these tips to work for you, I am so excited for what is going to happen to you this year with your Etsy shop. So if you put these tips to work and you have success, definitely comment below and let me know. Also, if you have any questions about how to succeed on Etsy or you would love to see any other topics, comment that down below as well, and I would love to create that video for you. Now, in addition to Etsy, I am a firm believer in multiple income streams, and now I'm gonna share with you my all-time favorite way to make a full-time income from home. One of my favorite ways to generate income is by utilizing an automated marketing system. Now, directly below in the description, the very first link that you're gonna see, wifiwealth.co slash automation, is my number one favorite income stream and I do utilize it in addition to YouTube here. And this is a business in a box with all the tools that literally everybody needs to succeed online. So through the power of automated marketing systems, I was able to pay off $30,000 in credit card debt and travel through the Caribbean. So I am over here on my Instagram right now. You can visit me over here, scroll through my journey, um, see all the cool things that I actually have gotten to do over a five year span of time through working 100% on the internet. So the things that I share with you on this channel have allowed me to create that lifestyle, right? I went from really struggling with maxed out credit cards, no clue how I was gonna pay that credit card debt off, um, to living a lifestyle that most people really dream of. And this isn't to brag or boast about what I've accomplished, but to show you what is possible when you plug into the knowledge that I'm sharing with you here on this channel, right? I originally came across somebody else's video on YouTube just like this one, and it sparked something in me to you know, go from struggling, lack mentality, to a mentality of abundance, taking massive action, and just creating the lifestyle that I dream of, right? There is so much abundance out here, and if you're willing to take action and step outside of your comfort zone, you know, this is really possible for anybody that's willing to be consistent and put out great content like this on YouTube combined with an automated marketing system, okay? 
So in addition to traveling through the Caribbean for five whole years, uh, we were also able to purchase our dream home in Ohio on six acres just this past year. And I have literally marked off every single thing on my goal and vision board that I set out to do when I first started online making money back in 2009 okay so many of you have followed my journey over the years and i am so so grateful um, and i am just thrilled that i get a chance to light the path for more people like you okay so go ahead make sure you hit that subscribe button so you never miss a video that i release on how to make money um, be sure to drop me a comment below if you got value from this video or if there are any other types of videos that you would like to see on this channel, and I would be more than happy to do that for you. This is Angie from Wi-Fi Wealth signing out. Make it an amazing day, and I'll see you back tomorrow.